What's up and welcome back. My name is Tiffany Okafor and I help women claim the love, peace of mind, and happiness they deserve. In today's episode, we're gonna be discussing the answer to this question. How do I deal with negative people? Simply put, this episode is for you if you want the answer to that question. So stick around because I have a whole bunch of juicy goodness to share with you right after this. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on this juicy goodness that I'm giving away for free every week. <laughs> and if you love this video, make sure you comment below and share this video with your friends. All right, enough of the plugs, let's get right into this. So this is a question that I get on a regular basis. How do I deal with negative people? The kind of people that come into your life and just throw all their baggage on you. The kind of people that come into your life and they just are Debbie Downers. If you're feeling good, they just bring it down. How do I deal with those kind of people? Well, I have three counter questions for you that will guide you into the answer that you need for yourself. So the first question is, can you become aware? Like I mentioned, people in my personal life and my coaching clients are always asking me how to deal with negative people. And my response is always to become aware and examine yourself first. If you notice that negative people are always drawn to you, like no matter where you go, at work, at school, at home, somebody's bringing their negativity towards you, there's a reason for that. And you need to become aware to that before you can even jump into dealing with the negative person. So ask yourself, why is this negativity drawn to me? Is it because I'm also a negative person? Is it because I am a really happy person and that negative person wants advice from me? Is it because I'm empathetic and that person feels comfortable with me? Whatever the response may be, that response is the first step into guiding you into how to deal with negative people. Question number two is, have you ever tried asking that negative person for help? Reality, Reality check. check. If they're a negative person, likely they've never had anybody in their life to affirm anything great about them. Or at least they've never had anybody to do that recently. So why don't you be the first to do it? Why don't you be the first to affirm them? Why don't you ask them for their help? Here's an example. I'm gonna call the negative person in my life, Bob. Before Bob even comes to me with his negativity, I'm gonna go to Bob. Hey Bob, can I talk to you for a second? I really just wanna ask you for your help, man. Like, I really trust you, and I know that you're like a person that's really in touch with your own emotions and feelings, so I'm trying to do that too. And lately, I've been having a really rough time. I was wondering, can you just send me positivity any chance you get? Like every time you see me, can you just give me a compliment because I like really need that? And I know because you're so aware and so in touch with your own emotions and feelings, you are the perfect person to be able to help me with this. Can you do that for me, please? I would really appreciate it. See what I just did? I gave Bob a compliment. I affirmed Bob today. I broke up a little bit, a little bit of his negativity today. And I also requested that he send me positivity instead of negativity, feel me? And the third question to ask yourself is, can you empathize with this person that you view as a negative person? Maybe this person has low self-esteem. Maybe this person has not had anybody to give them a compliment recently. Maybe this person has nobody in their life to even listen to them for one minute. And maybe you can be that person if you have the time, if you have the energy. Can you empathize with that person? Can you just listen to them? Try to put yourself in their shoes and simply respond, I hear you, or I feel you, or I understand. That might be all that that person needs. It's somebody, one person to empathize, and that might be enough for that particular situation. That might be it. You might not hear any more negativity out of Bob because that's all he needed. So try that. Answer those questions for yourself and let me know in the comments below if you feel like that is something that was helpful for you. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you this week, but make sure you join me next week where I'm gonna be offering you even more tips to help you get your life and live your best life. Until then, have an amazing week and I will see you soon.